We return live to the United Nations General Assembly to continue listening to the speakers as they discuss the need to remove the U.S. blockade against Cuba. Since the Republic of Cuba. This 60-year-plus economic blockade is an egregious violation of the rights of the Cuban people and cannot be justified. It is a classic case of unilateral coercive measures applied against the country and continues to be the main obstacle to the full development of the Cuban economy. Furthermore, Mr. President, it gravely impacts on the livelihoods of the ordinary Cuban citizen. As a result, the Cuban economy has come under extraordinary pressures reflected in industry, service provision, retail trade, food, and medicine shortages, and a decline in the consumption levels and general welfare of the Cuban population. In recent months, systematic efforts have been made to attain energy stability on the very complex situation. Given the insufficient readiness of power plants resulting from the lack of fuel, spare, sorry, spare parts, and other essential resources for their repair and maintenance. The few providers that continue to supply Cuba with these products have increased their prices considerably based on country risk. Mr. President, the Commonwealth of Dominica has enjoyed warm neighborly relations with the Republic of Cuba. The Commonwealth of Dominica has neither promulgated nor applied any law or measure that in any way hinders the freedom of trade and navigation with the Republic of Cuba. The government of the Commonwealth of Dominica has embraced and will continue to embrace the government and people of the Republic of Cuba as a fellow member of the United Nations, the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC, and the Bolivarian, Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of our America, ALBA, and as a sister nation of the Caribbean. Many of our citizens have benefited tremendously from the Cuban eye care pro program, with major improvements in the restoration of vision to beneficiaries. Cuba continues to provide training for our medical doctors to specialize in various disciplines while further supporting our health care system with nurses who have been instrumental in advancing our primary health care system. Cuba also provides technical support in agriculture to the Commonwealth of Dominica, ensuring that our food security is protected. Cuba has the capacity of producing over 60% of its medicines. However, these levels have not been guaranteed for months due to the impact of the blockade on the country's ability to pay its suppliers. Mr. President, the Commonwealth of Dominica also reiterates the call for the removal of Cuba from the U.S. State Department's unilateral list of state sponsors of terrorism, as this listing has exacerbated the situation. Cuba has upheld the U.N. Charter and has always called on the international community to engage in diplomacy for the resolution of conflict. Finally, Mr. President, my delegation wishes again to place on record that imminent and decisive action must be taken to have this embargo lifted and have the rights of the Cuban people restored. I thank you. I should like to thank the distinguished representative of the Commonwealth of Dominica.